In this next technique, what I'm going to do is uh, use cloth effects to create something kind of out of the ordinary, something you might not associate by default with cloth effects, and that's going to be a money bag, a cloth money bag like you might see in the uh, medieval times. So in this case, what I'm going to do is draw out a circle. It's going to represent the money bag itself, and then I'm going to create a geosphere that is going to reside pretty much in the middle that's going to be used to create the void within the bag, space within the bag to create objects that are going to go into it, coins or whatnot. So, zoom in here. And let's actually take this down because it doesn't need to be terribly precise. It's just got to create a void. So I'm going to throw Garment Maker on it. And that looks good. Cloth effects on top of it. Circle is going to be cloth. I'm going to add the geosphere as a collision object. And I'm going to leave the offset to 1 so it creates a nice void around the sphere itself. It doesn't have to lie right on top of it. It's going to be a little bit bigger. And actually for my cloth, come to think of it, the circle itself, I'm going to decrease the damping and the resistance to stretching I'm going to let go a little bit. I'm going to say it's uh, 25 instead and the shearing is going to be the same as it was. I'm going to leave gravity turned on. I'm going to turn on self collision and I'm going to hit simulate. So this is kind of stage one. I'm going to stop it right about there because I've got a pretty decent looking form going right there. So what I want to do is capture that state. So I'm going to tell it to set the initial state so that now as I move back I can erase the simulation. So I just have that. Now just don't forget if you hit reset state it's going to go back to that flat panel. So you don't want to hit reset state. You just want to hit erase the simulation from this point forward. Now, what I can do, so I'm going to grab the geosphere and delete it. I no longer need it. I've got the void in the bag. And now what I'm going to do is center the pivot. I'm going to rotate the bag around here so it's facing up. Now the bag does, you know, the drawstring, what, where the drawstring would normally go will be right about here. So what I'm going to do is select this and I'm going to go into group sub object mode. And within here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lasso tool. So I'm going to draw out kind of a naturalistic area where a drawstring might go. Pretty straightforward. I turn that on you can see it's like that. And I'll go ahead and make group. I'm going to call it draw line. Say OK. And instead of actually creating it and linking it to something else, all I want it for, all I want those vertices for, is to change their properties. So I'll turn on use properties. Now these are all the same kind of cloth properties you get everywhere else, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reduce their U and their V scale to 1. And I'm going to tell them to be aware of self-collision. Now I'm going to move back up and I want to turn gravity off otherwise this thing is going to be falling and I want it to stay where it is. I don't need to to have gravity right now. And in this case I'm going to hit simulate local damped. Now you notice that the bag flipped over and that was literally because I did not grab the state from right side up. So something I forgot to do caused that to occur. If I hit simulate local you'll notice that drawstring starts to get tighter and tighter and tighter. Maybe a double-sided material might help see that. Let's make it kind of a tan. There we go. Looking a little rumpled right now, but that's not a big deal. 
So what I'm going to do is rotate it over. I still got the void in there, don't forget. I'm going to tell it to set the initial state. So now it's going to stay that way. But now what I need to do is create something that's going to go in it and actually affect the bag. Now, cloth effects does not have rigid body dynamics built in. Doesn't, doesn't exist. 